Are you looking for a different way to serve cauliflower that everyone is sure to love? Well, I'm going to show you how to make cauliflower rice. This recipe celebrates the cool season veg and I'm using handfuls of fresh herbs from my garden. To start, I'm making my cauliflower rice. So I've got one whole large cauliflower. I'm just gonna cut it into some chunks. To turn it into cauliflower rice, all you have to do is pop it into your food processor and make sure not to blend it on a really high speed or else it will just go all watery. You want it to look like fine rice or couscous. Also, don't overfill your food processor. Surprisingly, one cauliflower makes so much cauliflower rice, you'll be able to feed your whole family. I've got some onion and garlic here, which I'm gonna blitz up into a paste, and I've also got a little bit of lamb backstrap. Now, I like to eat cauliflower rice just on its own, but I do have some meat lovers in my family. So I'm gonna season the lamb with just a little sprinkle of cinnamon, some salt and olive oil. You'll want to use a nice deep fry pan so that you can fit all of the cauliflower rice in when cooking. I'm just going to add in a little bit of olive oil, or you could use coconut oil too. And start by frying off my onion and garlic paste and spices. A teaspoon of cumin, coriander seed, and a dash of cinnamon. This beautiful spiced paste is really going to lift the flavour of the cauliflower rice. So in it goes. That's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna go and prepare my garnishes. I just love pomegranates. They make any dish look absolutely beautiful and they're in season in autumn and winter. If you are picking them in your own garden, the key is to pick the biggest and brightest pomegranate. This one's almost as bright as my nail polish. <laughs> a quick tip to de-seed a pomegranate is Cut about a third of the pomegranate off. Grab a nice big bowl and grab a heavy base spoon and just give the pomegranate a good whack. And you'll see that these beautiful, plump little jewels come flying out. If you don't have fresh pomegranate, a good alternative is using dried currants or even goji berries. I'm using some gorgeous mint and parsley fresh from my garden, but of course you can be experimental and use what you've got available. To finish off my spiced cauliflower rice palaf, I'm gonna add the final touches. A little bit of sea salt for seasoning, some crushed pistachios, or you can use whatever nut you like. some fresh herbs. And of course, the beautiful pomegranate seeds. I like to serve this on a big platter so that everyone can just dive in and help themselves. Try making cauliflower rice once and you'll see just how easy it is. What a feast.